Hey, welcome to the Gypsy Food Network. Tonight we're going to do some deep fried uh, Oreo cookies. And what you need is just the, um, the batter from the pancakes that just need water, okay? But you need it a little thicker than what you would do for pancakes. We got our uh, Oreo uh, getting heat up and we have our Oreos here. And what you do is, well this is the Oreo. I put them on a stick. You have to leave them at least 30 minutes inside of your freezer before you start baking them. And you dip it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take it over here to the to the grease. Let me take some of that off a little bit. And you're just going to drop it in there, okay? We're going to let that cook for a little bit there. Now I put them on a stick to make them a little bit easier and more funner for the kids just in case. They can hold them and eat them, whatever they want to do. There we go. She's going. And again, I'm only baking one at a time. I don't want to overcrowd the pan because I do want to do this. And then you want to flip it and just get it a little brown on the other side. And then what you do is you just see if it's done on the other side. This is a quick process. And then we're going to take her out, drain her a little bit. That was the black Oreo. We're going to do a white one. And we're going to dip it again. Just like you would. And you don't have to put no flour or nothing on it. And then you're going to get it. Just drop some of that stuff off and drop her in there and help them out okay hey we got a little uh, round circle on that one little question mark like I don't know if you guys can see it it's something a little different and a little bit easier too for the if you put them on a stick I'll show you guys how to do the other ones without the stick just in case you don't have them And it's not that hard and after they cool down we put powdered sugar on them which will present our dish in a little bit but we just want this to fry up a little bit and the other side doesn't take that long guys they're just like hotcakes because you're using hotcake batter okay let me get the uh, the fork for this other one and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna lay it in there in your stuff in the batter, turn it around a little bit to get it all nice and thin. Then you're going to pull it out and you're going to tap it on the side of the dish or the cup so that the excess can fall off and just put it in there. Okay? We're going to do a white one and we're also going to do a chocolate one. Remember to put them in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes before you start frying them because you want that cream to get a little bit more harder so it doesn't come out okay we're going to flip this one put this one here keep moving them around so that that way there they can just kind of dance in the oil here that you're frying. We're going to take this one out and flip this one. Okay, I'll be right back guys. i still got a few more to do. And welcome back. They're done. And we're putting them. And what you do is you can add powdered sugar to them, make them look nice and dainty and cute. And in this way here, you can also serve a little scoop of ice cream on the side. And this is what I'm telling you about the little sticks. Uh, you know, you can hold it and chew it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. It is an Oreo fried. And I want to thank all of the viewers and also our subscribers and friends. God bless you guys all. And thanks for tuning in to the Gypsy Food Network.